Yeah. I disagree. What? They do in the in the in the moment. Are you are you talking about reaction to emotion or the emotion itself? The emotion itself. They never come and go. They stay. You're not nobody's happy all day. I'd be happy for a second, but then eventually they'll fade for a, some time period. Mm -hmm. Then I might be scared at one point. That goes away. Might feel Doesn't sad. Doesn't go away. They're all the little kids that sit nestled in you, and you're the teacher, and it's who you call on, on in the classroom. You're like little fear right there. I need you to start acting up. Little happy dude over there. I need you to start ha acting up. The one that's always questioning every single question. I need you to start asking questions. It's they never leave you. It's just who are you giving opportunity to speak? Hmm. This is why emotions are important. That we we don't treat them as though they're fleeting things in our lives. It's part of being human. Is to be emotional. When we try to be overly cerebral and intellectualize everything we're not listening you are the teacher and everything you think and feel are the little students inside your head who are you asking to speak so your feelings don't leave you i could trigger you to be happy in two seconds and while you're in that happy space i could trigger you to be angry just as quickly now if they were things that came and went i wouldn't be able to get you to switch so fast that's a powerful thing that we need to understand every emotion is in there you just have to tap in who is the student you're calling on inside your mind and sometimes the kids speak out of line <laughs> sometimes they're disobedient sometimes you gotta um put them in a corner and then sometimes there's an evaluator in the room there's an observer everybody's on the best behavior when they're when there's an observer in the room you know who the observer is me it's you teacher no it's oh. the, it's the you're the teacher which is your ego your ego construct is who you think you are and what you think you're supposed to be doing in this life it's all of what your experiences have told you that's the teacher calling the students the observer is the silent thing that's listening when you're sitting still in your head and there's all this chatter